I like my evil like I like my men. Evil, you know? Straight up, black hat, tied to the train track. Soon my electro ray will destroy Metropolis bad. This is Max Payne Griffin with Cobra Dash Source MMA, and I'm at Team Carnage in Orangeville, California, and I'm with the legendary Jamie Hart. How you doing? Man? Hey, I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Uh, I know you have this huge fight with David Mitchell, West Coast Nine, main event, you know. How do you feel about it in general? Um, you know, he's talked a lot of crap leading up to this fight, so um, he said a lot of things, and he's going to have to back it up come the 26th. Definitely, um, I know a lot of things were attacked on you and, you know, your lineage at the media day and, um, you know, generally this sport is respectful, but a lot, you know, a lot of time it's not. Are you used to the controversy? Are you used to the disrespect or is it just... You know, I, I, I'm used to talking, you know, people, you know, trying to pump up the fight, but he directly said some things that, you know, were uncalled for. He said that his, you know, he really think, I think he really believes his jujitsu is better than mine. Um, I don't think so, but we're going to find out on the 26th. Let's see. I know he comes from, uh, from Team Alpha Male, you know, a reputable camp out here. Uh, how do you feel that factors with his training partners? And I know those guys, you know, they think they're the top around. Um, how do you feel about uh, how that plays and how, you know, how your training has been going? Well, you know, he's been there, what, a month? Uh, what do you fix in a month? You know, not much. I mean, he's gonna fight like he's been fighting, you know, the last few times I've seen him. He's not gonna be able to change a whole lot. Um, his stand-up is suspect to me. You know, he's got good wrestling. And, and I, like I said, I don't think his jiu-jitsu is better than mine. I don't know where he plans on taking this fight. If he stands with me, he's probably gonna get knocked out. If he takes it to the ground, what's he gonna do? I, I don't know, I don't know, we'll see. No, I know the, the world's looking forward to it and um so am I. So uh, about his history, I know he's a, you know, he was in the UFC and um, he's a UFC veteran. Um, does that intimidate you at any point? I mean, just being in the UFC? No. How many fights has he won in the UFC? Maybe one. Um, I know he's from Terrell's camp. I know they got a tough tech camp and they're, and they're all good grapplers there. Um, now he's, if you look at his stand up, I don't know. It's, it's, in my opinion, it's not good. Um, so I'm thinking he's just gonna try to take it to the ground. What else can he do? You know, what else he's gonna do? He's not gonna stand with me. This fight, you know, kind of came above. You know, this, it just came. Um, I was actually injured. I was scheduled to fight him, and um, I had to back out for an injury, which is fine. But you know, he talks a lot of smack, which is, I think he's kind of crazy. I honestly do. Just the, you know, just the stuff that he says, he acts like he's some legendary star. But I honestly, when I first met him at the West Coast Awards, I had no idea who he was. 
when Brandon told me on the phone, you know, we signed this UFC vet, David Mitchell. You know, I kind of had to play along like, oh yeah, okay, cool. I drew a blank, honestly. You can't tell me really anyone that knew who he was. And I've watched prelims. I've watched, you know, I watched the Facebook fights. I watched the prelim fights. I watched all the fights. So for him to act like he's some star, you know, I don't know where he goes off with that, you know, honestly. It's just offensive, and um, no one knows who he is. How are you from Santa Rosa, local, a local UFC fighter, and we don't know who you are? Let alone, you know, if you lived in Wisconsin or something, but if you live two hours away and, you know, nobody knows who you are, come on, man. I think the problem with that is he, it, most of his fights have been pretty boring. Um, you know, if he had an exciting fight and he put a good fight up, man, you'd probably remember the fight, but uh, the fights that I've watched put me to sleep, honestly. So, and I know you're an aggressive fighter. You go for the kill. He just kind of, he's just kind of in there. It seems like, you know, how do you think that kind of attitude, you know, will, will play out? I think what his style is, is he tries to grind you out and get you tired and just go for the, you know, the win by the decision. Uh, you know, I think that's what he's looking for is to maybe grind me out, get me tired and think he's going to wear me down. Um, he's going to be surprised though. He's going to be surprised. I, the, the way I see this fight, uh, I think if he stands with me, there's a good chance that he may get knocked out. Um, I, I think what he may try to do is just push me against the fence and hold me there for three rounds. Um, that's probably his best way to win if he can do that. If he takes me down to the ground, I'm pretty sure he's not going to submit me. And uh, he's going to be surprised when we go to the ground. And he's telling everybody he thinks this is going to be a grappling match. And... Uh, He's going to get punched when we're on the ground. I'm going to punch him right in the face. So I don't know what he's expecting, but he's going to get hit. No, we're looking forward to it. It's a main event, you know, and um, I know you have way more fights than him. You've been in way harder fights than him. You fought way better guys. You just, you just, I, I just don't see how he's going to beat you, especially being a, a boring jiu-jitsu guy, honestly, and that's the yeah, truth. That's the, big, that's the truth. You that, know? That's the question. What's he gonna do? Um, hopefully, he's working on something, and, and he's and he's watched film on me, and he and he and he's gonna figure something out, and make a good fight. Otherwise, uh, he's gonna try to do what he normally does, and I don't think that's gonna work this time. No, I, I like to thank uh, you know my coach, uh, Coach Mike Rumsey, you know my sparring partners, uh, Mike Gonzalez and uh, Dave Huckaba, my wrestling coach Eric and Dave Wells, and um, everybody on my team that helped me train for this fight, Team Carnage. This is Max Payne Griffin closing out Cobra-Source.com. See you guys at West Coast Fighting Championship Nine, where you're going to see Jamie Hara take care of business in the main event against David Mitchell. You need tickets. Swoop them up from Jamie right now. Take care.